Friends, I am extremely worried about this one trend that I think is going to hold back homesteaders today are those who want to homestead, and it might even get you seriously hurt. Let's talk about that. It's pretty windy out here, so let's head into the greenhouse where we can have a serious talk about this. Because from the comments I get sometimes and the things that I read out there, this is a serious topic. And that is people's mentality. That goes a long way where your mind is. I talk about mindset a lot because it is so important. It is one, if not your greatest single tool that you have on your homestead, when you're looking to live a more self-sufficient lifestyle, or an off-grid lifestyle, whatever you wanna call it, it is up here. And that has to get straightened out or you are not going to succeed and you could even get yourself seriously hurt. As I receive a lot of comments saying that, well, I can't do it. Well, you can plan it out and do it. That's what we did. Now it's one thing to say you can't do something if there's an actual physical issue and you can't do it, or there's extreme poverty or something like that. I understand that, but I'm gonna say the word and it probably does not apply to 99.999% of you uh, watching, but that is whining. Whining in our country has to stop now because it is holding everyone back. And if you want to attain a goal, you have to stop whining. Along with that mentality is unrealistic expectation. Unrealistic expectation comes from seeing too many things glorified on television, on the movies, on, you know, maybe, yes, YouTube. But it, <laughs> you have to be realistic about what you're doing. And let me explain that. Let me explain that in terms of solar. I've had so many comments on my solar videos to say, well, that's not gonna work for me, or that's not gonna work at all, or it's just very contrarian views. And also saying that, well, the grid is way cheaper than having that. Well, <laughs> I, let me explain this to you. Having solar is not like being on the grid. So if you are desiring to move out to a country, self-sufficient, off-grid lifestyle, then you have to get away from the thoughts that you are gonna have everything exactly the same as you did in the city. That is not the case. You have to change your lifestyle. Because if you come out here and you are able to put up your own solar system and you don't have enough money to buy this massive system that could run a big modern house, then you're gonna be disappointed. And you're gonna say, well, what the heck is going on? Well, your expectations were way off. Solar is not like that. Solar is not the grid. I get comments to the effect, well, it's gonna take me eight plus years to pay that off. Well, yeah, that's actually a really good payback on a solar system. And after that, all your energy is free and you're self-sufficient and you're not, obviously, depending on the grid, if you're self-sufficient and you're not relying on an aging, breaking down grid that could go out at any time. Honestly, today, we lost power for 35 minutes or 35 or 40 minutes. And all that's going on out here today in East Texas is 15 to 20 mile an hour winds. And we lost power for that period of time. And usually our power co-op is really reliable, but aging systems, down power lines, trees getting blown over. Yes, it all comes into effect. But if you put in that system, and you just run all of your loads at the same time, it's not gonna be very successful. You have to understand the limitations of solar, and it's not about living in a modern situation in the countryside. But if you understand that solar is to just power some lights, keep your refrigerator and freezer going, and maybe a couple mini split systems, you're good to go. But this modern mentality of whining because we don't have everything perfect that we've had for a long period of time here in this country, it's got to stop because it's not only gone through this current generation, which is the whiniest, 
but it's also trickled back past my generation into other generations. And that might be because we lived fat and happy for a long time here in this country. Something else that has to stop now is people thinking that their way is the only way. Just because they're licensed in something or they've been working in that field for 30 years. Look, there's new tricks, old dogs, and you have to be open to learning those. And I know from my profession that there is definitely more than one way to skin a cat. When I was designing million and a half dollar houses in Houston, framers would frame those things five, six different ways. And that's cool, no problem. As long as it adheres to the plans and it adheres to the code, not an issue. So what do I mean by mentality getting you hurt? Well, if you have a mentality of I already know it all and you don't have a learning attitude, then you are going to get yourself hurt or you're not gonna prepare properly and get your family hurt or you're not gonna prepare properly and get all of you hurt because you thought you knew how to grow this one thing and that was all you needed to grow during the year and now it didn't grow because something happened and you don't have any food left. That's serious. When I do something, unless I've been doing it for a long time, I do consult with other people. So it might not look like it sometimes on the channel, but for the solar system, friends and electrician, I was on the phone with the solar install company all the time. I'm reading and studying for two years. I'm watching videos of other experts like Will Prowse, David Prowse, or David Paz, uh, and they're both self-taught as well. Also solar install uh, companies, talk to them, gotten schematics, all of it. So I'm really talking to any of you out there who are thinking about doing this lifestyle. Things are not going to be the same as when you lived in the city. Things are gonna be more difficult. The work is harder. You can't set it and forget it. You have to learn, you have to study, and it's constant. You have to change your expectations. You have to prepare yourself to maybe just eat sweet potatoes for three weeks if that's all you're able to grow and the grocery stores are completely out of food. You have to change your mindset that you can just call an electrician, a plumber, a roofer, and they'll be there maybe in a couple days, maybe in a week, and fix whatever it is you have on your country homestead. You've got to learn to do it yourself. And that's why I'm saying get out now, because it gives you time to learn. Because there is coming a time very soon where the cities will be almost unlivable. And that includes the suburbs. And if that's not just for the simple fact that grocery stores run out of food really fast in an emergency. Now there's one more important thing to talk about. So I'm talking to two different types of people here. I'm talking to those of you who are trying to learn. Do not let others tell you that you can't do it. And here's what I mean by that. There are a lot of people who, yes, troll out there to say that only experts, only those with licenses, only those who've been working with 30 years of experience in something are the only ones who know how to do something. That's wrong and that is arrogant. As someone desiring to live this lifestyle, it's up to you to learn. It is up to you to read code, to consult experts, but at a certain point, you gotta do it yourself. And if you are going to take care of yourself and if you're going to take care of your family, Learn all you can, never stop studying. So don't fall in the mentality that you have to call an expert. Don't fall in the mentality that you're the expert and there's only one way to do things. Don't fall in the mentality that there is only one way to do things. Don't fall in the mentality that I can't do it. And that goes with your health too and taking care of your body. Especially when it comes to certain sicknesses which are out there right now. You know what I'm talking about. Friends, those who are extremely unsure, who don't have a plan, who say they can't do it, who rely only on the experts, will not make it. I'm telling you that as a fact. Well, maybe one or two might slip through the cracks. But if you wanna do this lifestyle, if you wanna have this security that we have, being self-sufficient, it's hard. It's a lot of work and you gotta learn a lot, but you can do it. Now go click on this video right here, which talks about 11 homesteading skills that you need to learn now and eventually master. Have a great day. We love you. See you next time. Bye.